Ladies, please don't let people do this to you. Do not let people put you in this position because if you do, you will live to regret it. But first, like and subscribe to this channel and share this content. Hit the notification bell so that you're aware when I post a brand new video. Do not let people put you in this position. For too long, as women, we have been in this position and it is uncomfortable and it is tiresome and it is making us more exhausted, more sickly, more stressed than we have ever been. There is no glory in being in this type of position. There is no virtue in it, contrary to public belief or popular belief. There is nothing that is beneficial to a woman to constantly be in the position of being exactly like they want you to be. And when I say that, they have women in a position of constantly being someone's savior. I saw a video of a man, an Indian man, and I believe that he might have been a little sincere in what he was saying because it's what he's been taught. But he said something along the lines of when you need something done, when you need somebody to depend on, when you need strength. He didn't say those exact words. These are not exact quotes. But his point was that when you need somebody to get the job done, find you a black woman. No, no, we are tired of being in the position of being somebody's mammy. We are tired of being in the position of being the one that you call on, like we are a Ford truck, Ford tough, can do it all, can be it all, can bear it all. And the fact that he was taught this by his mother, it goes to show you a mentality and an understanding of what people think black women are. Now, like I've said before, this is all things woman. This is a channel for all women. However, because I am a black woman, I will speak to us specifically sometimes. And when I saw this video, this absolutely made me very irritated and vexed my spirit so. So I have to say something about it. Do not let people keep you in the position of being the savior to them. What he was saying, the way I heard it, was that a black woman, she's able to do it all. She's able to bear it all. She doesn't get tired. She doesn't get sleepy. She doesn't need anybody. She is the help. She doesn't need help. She is the help. And that's the problem now. People are so used to seeing black women in the light of, you know, we don't cry. We just pick ourselves up by the bootstraps and keep going. We don't feel. And you know, historically, there have been experiments and all that stuff done, and I'm not getting into the gory details of it, but there were experiments done on black women because they thought that we cannot feel. They thought we had no emotions. We had no pain sensors. So we were used as guinea pigs in these experiments because of that reason. Why would we allow ourselves today to stay in that position of having people think that we don't feel, we don't think, we don't have the regular emotions and feelings and thoughts that every other woman has. And that's why I believe this femininity and soft power, soft life movement is happening so much so, especially within the black community with black women, because black women are tired of being the ones that everybody turns to when they need something done. Black women are tired of being the go-to for everything. Look, we are not the help. Help us. We like to be helped. We like to be nurtured. We like to be the ones that we can find someone to cry on. We have real tears. We have real thoughts. We have real emotions. And the reason why there is this image of black women being so strong and so tough, in my opinion, is because a lot of times black women didn't have the opportunity to rest because of their circumstances. The circumstances that many black women have been exposed to, unfortunately, has hardened them and they had to do what they have to do. That's not to say that they like it. And I think that's what people are getting confused. Just because somebody does something, that doesn't mean that they like it. There are a lot of, quote, strong black women 
out here. And I'm sure there are some of our, you know, other cultural counterparts who are also going through these same things. But historically, black women have had it the hardest and we have been the ones who have to just, once again, pick ourselves up by the bootstraps and keep going. No feeling, no time for thoughts, no time for your help, just keep going. So to hear this gentleman say what he said, I didn't take it as a term of endearment. I took it as an insult and not of his own fault. It's a learned behavior from his mother. As a mother, I wouldn't dare tell my son, my child, to turn to another woman, no matter what race, for strength, for help. You better turn to God because we're all people and we need God. But you don't tell them to turn to a black woman. That just goes to show you that people, a lot of people, look at us as if we are machines. And I promise you, this is not an activism type of speech I'm giving. This is just completely real talk that Women, black women especially, are tired of being in that position. We're tired, as, we're tired of not being seen as soft. And the women, for the women, for the black women, who found that very, you know, oh, that's sweet. That is not sweet. Do you understand what you're asking for? Do you understand what you're accepting? You are accepting that people will continue to just put bricks on your back. And because you are not in touch with your femininity, because you are not in touch with that softer, gentler side of yourself, because you lack self-worth, because you only see yourself as worthy when you're doing something for other people and when you're allowing other people to take advantage of you, you don't understand or recognize when people are taking advantage of you, when your strong nature is being taken advantage of. That's why, and back to femininity and womanhood, I believe that we need to give it a rest when it comes to highlighting how strong we are. You can be strong. You can be a woman that is able to do a lot of things. But you never want to once again become the woman that is the go-to for everything. In business, even in business, that gets exhausting after a while. Even if you are the CEO, the founder, if you are the creator of your establishment, of your business, whatever you're doing, over time, you're going to feel like you need some help. And when women unknowingly because they're just used to it. They constantly say, I got it. I got it. You can come to me. You can count on me. Anything you need. I used to say, anything you need, just call me. And I had to really think about what I was saying. Anything you need? No, not anything you need. Matter of fact, I'll call you or just text me. And if I'm available, I will let you know. It's like we have that right as women. But when you have that savior complex, when you have that superhero, she, she hero complex, where you only feel valuable, when people are using you up and you feel so exhausted at the end of the day and you say, well, I did a good job. A lot of women are waking up to the fact that that's just not the way to be. And for my spiritual ladies, even though we are meant, we're supposed to serve and love other people and do for other people, as I've said in other videos, God did not call us to do for people to our own detriment, not to, uh, you know, exhaust yourself to the point where you have nothing left to give. We are not God. And when you have a God complex, when you have that martyr type of syndrome, once again, where you feel like you're only good when you're doing things for other people and mentally draining yourself, there's nothing noble about that. There's no nothing humble about that especially if you do those things just so you can say you did those things because a lot of times once again because women a lot of women their identity comes from what other people say about them so when they have the bragging rights to say i work my tail off i work 17 18 20 hours a day i was there for you i got you they say this to men a lot of times i was there for you i held you down while you was in jail i held you down i helped you take care of you and your side chick kid i accepted them as my own that's how a lot of the masculine women sound when they're trying to defend the fact that they stayed with the dusty longer than they should have and they should have let them go because you're accepting less than what you deserve. And you want to be able to say, I did these things for some kind of ego boost, only to have somebody tell you, I didn't ask you to do all that. 
think about that. You do all these things and at the end of everything, the person you're with or the person you're serving or the people you're doing this for, I didn't ask you to do all that. And I hear some overrighteous person saying this now, so I'm going to go ahead and rebut it. You're not supposed to do things to get praise from people as long as God sees what you're doing. <laughs> There's a time for that, absolutely. But God doesn't say to be a fool. He says to use wisdom, to be wise as a serpent, but gentle as a dove. Which means you can be gentle, you can be kind, but you have to understand and know, use your wisdom to know when somebody is taking advantage of you or you're accepting dysfunction as functional. You're accepting abnormal as normal. So ladies, this gentleman, originally what I was saying, I don't take that as a compliment because as a woman, I am worthy, especially as a black woman. I cry tears. I get tired. And I've woken up so much that, you know, they say woke. I am truly woke to the fact that I no longer have to be that strong black woman. I refuse. My strength comes from the Lord. He helps me to endure. However, when I'm tired, I will rest. When I don't feel like talking, if I mentally cannot handle the conversation that you're throwing at me, I will let you know I will pray for you, but I'm going to call you back later, okay? Or I'll give you a call tomorrow. I can't handle this right now. Black women are no different than any other woman. We get tired, we get weary, we get anxious, we get depressed, we get upset, we get physically tired, our limbs hurt sometimes. We got to sit down and rest. We like to just do leisurely activities. These are all things that we like to do too. And as women, I think we need to get people more comfortable seeing us in a state of rest and a state of leisure and a state of just being and not doing all the time. And I know it can be hard because when you begin to rest and not constantly be the machine, people might perceive you as being lazy. They might perceive you as being, uh, you know, what are you doing with your life? If you're not going to school, if you're not going to work, if you're not working 15 jobs and getting 30 degrees, they're going to look at you like you're nothing. And that's okay. You'll be at rest, you'll be at ease, and you'll have time enough to pray for the people who try to use you up and take advantage of your kindness and your perceived strength. And now you can let them call on the one who can help them because you are no longer at their service constantly. All right, like and subscribe to the channel and share this content. Hit the notification bell so that you're aware when I post a brand new video. If you watch this video until the very end, put the high hill emoji in the comment section. I absolutely love to see it. Take care.